Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It's actually our Glass Tire 2020 Spring Preview. Uh, it is the week of January 2nd, 2020. I'm Brandon Zek. I'm Christina Reese. And I'm Christopher Blake. And we're counting down uh, our spring preview. So this is mostly institutional shows. You kind of know the drill. A lot of nonprofits, uh, you know, small to mid-sized nonprofits and institutions kind of have their schedules, maybe have their ducks in a row a little more than some of the smaller spaces. Um, and that's kind of what we have to go off of. My first pick for uh, spring preview kicks off, actually in February, it's the Cam Perennial in San Antonio, Contemporary Art Month. In San Antonio. Uh, this started back in 1986. It was started originally by uh, Southwest School of Art and Blue Star. Now it's an independent thing. The show that I'm kind of highlighting is uh, hosted at the McNay in San Antonio. This show of Contemporary Art Month was curated by Lee Hallman of the Fort Worth Modern and it's going to include a lot of great San Antonio local artists. Amada Miller, Megan Harrison, Raul Gonzalez, Nicholas Frank, Jimmy James Canales, Mari Hernandez, Buster Graybill, Jasmine Graybill, and Anthony Francis. We love these artists. This is going to be a great show. Contemporary Art Month really is the month of March, but um, the show itself is going to be at the McNay from February through May. So one of my picks uh, for Spring Preview is in Houston. It is at Lawndale Art Center, and it's a show of new uh, watercolors by Jennifer Reland. Um, if you're in Houston, you may have remembered Jennifer had a show at Guerrero Projects, was a space at 4411 Montrose. This show is at Lawndale, and Jennifer Reland's watercolors, active, they're bustling, they're very narrative but they're very non-linear. Uh, this show is apparently going to include some uh, like an altar of life-sized watercolors or life-size works which I'm excited about. I feel like her work, she makes really good small pieces, she makes really great larger pieces. My pick is a uh, twofer. Uh, they're both shows coming up uh, in early spring at the Modern Art Museum Fort Worth and the first one is uh, Mark Bradford's End Papers. Um, it's the early, earlier works of Mark Bradford that he started experimenting and using these, um, hair styling end papers that are used in the, like, permanent curling process to prevent heat damage. And these early pieces are just really delicate. It feels like it could crumble. It's fragile, but it's full of, um, just energy. It's curated by the former curator and curator emeritus at The Modern, Michael Offing. The other show is Red Groom's Ruckus Rodeo. Uh, it was commissioned in 1975 by The Modern, and it has sort of like made appearances uh, around the Fort Worth uh, stock show and rodeo, mm -hmm. and it was commissioned specifically for that. But there are these um, really life-size paper mache over the top sculptures based on sketches by Red Grooms. Uh, at the time of the commission, he went to every single rodeo that year. And uh, it's just a really endearing, uh, engulfing, uh, like, sort of like spill over of uh, everything crazy that we love about Texas, the rodeo, big hats, big hair. It's, it's nice it's, they're pulling this out again. Is it like it's yeah, 10 years since Yeah, it was, it. I think 2005 was the last time. So another pick in Houston is opening in uh, May, and it'll be on view through September at the Menil Collection. It's a show of new works by Alora and Calzadilla called Specters of Noon. So these artists, when I first heard about this show, um, I, I was trying to figure out who they were and what they had done in the past and I started looking up their past work and they've done quite a bit. They were in a few Venice Biennials. The piece that I was familiar with um, was shown, I believe, at MoMA and it was someone standing inside of a piano playing the piano backwards, right, as they're like walking around the, uh, the piano in this gallery. That's crazy. Um, this show won't have any of that, though. It's going to be seven new works, a little bit about um, the Caribbean relationship between the, like Puerto Rico and the U.S., um, inspired a little bit by the hurricane, but also by all of the economic exchange and factors and colonization and all of the issues that deal around these two land masses being associated with one another. Uh, it'll include performances, which, I, which I'm excited about because a lot of their uh, sculptural 
uh, pieces kind of have some sort of activation. I believe the performances are going to be musical in nature. Uh, it'll also include Bat Guano, so that's maybe the only show this year in Texas that'll include Bat Guano. Maybe. maybe. The next pick on my list is in Austin. It's at the Contemporary Austin, both at the Jones Center location and Laguna Gloria. This is Nicole Eisenman, New York-based artist. She won the uh, Contemporary Suzanne Deal Booth and Flag Art Foundation Prize, so this is the big show that goes with this. A lot of sculpture and the Jones Center. I think it's going to look really good there. There will be also some of her work outdoors at Laguna Gloria. Of course, Nicole Eisenman, big name in art, and uh, also probably most recently um, kind of associated with the last Whitney Biennial and some of the controversy around that. She's had a bit of presence in Texas. Um, art Pena brought her work to Shotgun in Dallas. I believe it was around Art Fair week of 2018 and showed her work, uh, some of her sculpture and two-dimensional work there. Austin, and when this show leaves Austin, some of it's going to go up to Flag Art Foundation in New York. So we're looking forward to that. It opens on February 27th. Uh, my pick is uh, Barry X-Ball remaking sculpture at the Nasher. Opens January 25th through April 19th. And Barry X-Ball uh, uses semi-precious um, stones, gemstones, to create these works that are a combination of 3D scanning, CNC milling to create um, uh, portraits of his friends or celebrities. Um, and they are just, uh, they look ancient, but um, it's like his process just makes them um, look like the people that he's depicting at the same time and he's the new classical sculptor of course these are only six well seven shows uh that are happening in texas this spring there's a lot of things of course that we know about that we have not mentioned like the photo fest african cosmologies biennial that's happening this spring in houston and at a bunch of other related venues mm -hmm. uh there's a show of DJ, uh, it's based around DJ Screw at yeah. the Contemporary Arts Museum, which I'm really excited about. Mm -hmm. the um, slogan there's yeah. a Francis Bacon show of late paintings coming to the Museum of Fine Arts Houston. There's an Ed Ruscha show opening at the Blanton on January 11th. It's new work from 2017 to 2019. He's been painting on these drum skins, these drum heads. It's his text. And I don't think it's going to be a big show, but it is brand new work by Ed Ruscha. So uh, that's kind of an honorable mention. And also, I wanted to mention that this year is the 25th anniversary of Art Pace in San Antonio, and they've got a couple of really special shows coming up. One is called Visibility's Intrepid Women of Art Pace, which is going to be a lot of alumni from uh, Art Pace, as well as a show that celebrates Carolee Schneeman, uh, curated by Annette Carlazzi. So look for Art Pace San Antonio this year in its 25th anniversary. Yeah, that place is a cornerstone of San Antonio, but more broadly of the Texas art scene. Congratulations to Art Pace. Uh, just the uh, uh, Raphael Barantini show coming up at the Fort Worth Contemporary. He's a French artist, and uh, he does these uh, paintings, uh, airbrush paintings, uh, that combine Dogon African masks with uh, classic Greek sculpture representations. Not in an offensive way, he sort of, it reminds me of, all the, the 80s music videos you see on MTV, they're just very like a, a hodgepodge collage of these elements to kind of traverse all the periods of sculpture and art history, having a single conversation in a contemporary style. So that's it for our spring preview across the state. Uh, Happy New Year, everyone. And uh, Happy New Year. For 2020, make it one of your resolutions to go see some art. Go, go see some art. Go <laughs> <laughs> Do it, what he's about to say. Go see some art.